Namaste guys. In this video, Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this motion analysis in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. First thing that you have to do is uh, that you have to define several kind of contacts made other parameters before I do that. So let's see how to do one by one. Just to make sure that you go to SOLIDWORKS add-in and make sure SOLIDWORKS motion is active because I am going to use motion analysis. Without that, this simulation is can't be possible. Now, as you can see that uh, this toy is basically above the surface and I need something called gravity here to attach or you know play with the surface so what I can do is click on this gravity uh, currently you can see the gravity direction is in this way of course it is not the right direction I want gra gravity to as a downward direction so what I can do select this and select this edge now gravity is acting up, uh, upward direction again I don't want it so I will simply click on it, reverse direction. You can see now arrow is downward direction. One problem is solved. Next, uh, next thing is I want to define a contact type. So I want that these tires have a contact with this surface. So how can I do that? So I will click on this contact. Okay. Click on selection. Click on use contact groups. I will select all my tire in this one section. In another one, I will select the surface. I will go downward and uncheck the material. I will go upward and here I will enter my friction value. Uh, you can enter any friction value as per your requirement. I am entering 0.5. Click OK. Now to make this moving, I need something called motor. So what I can do is click on motor. Select the surface. And 100 RPM is I think fine for me. Click OK. Again, select this. Select this surface. 100 RPM. Click OK. Now I want to animate it. So what I can do is go here on motion study properties. Increase the FPS for better results. Higher the FPS is better will be the result. But it will take a longer time for simulation. So I will make it 30 because I don't have a good PC. So I will click on calculate. So as you can see, it's going. Now here's the first track. Or bump, you probably say. So you can see it's moving. Uh, the reason is moving slowly is, it is because it is doing calculation after the simulation is done it will run very smoothly so keep calm and look and see so it's done so let's try to play so if i click on play you can see how does it works Let's do something click this orientation. Let's make it just one way. And uh, if you want to make it more you can just increase this time up to this one and click on calculate again but it will do the whole calculation from the start and it will take you know some time
so now if i click on play you can see how does it works you can add suspension or that thing as well but it will take a longer time to do the motion offsets that is the reason i have done this simplicity uh, for example if you want you know that there is a suspension spring uh, adding all those things you can also do that but the complexity will be quite high and you know it will take a lot of time even making this simulation uh, took me more than an hour just to figure out what are the right values properties etc so you can do that but again the time will be taken will be also increased so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste